I'm back with part two of the uh, alien, uh, my alien abduction story. I know it may be hard for some of you to believe, but um, so I, I, I brought some proof. Uh, some people didn't believe my last video, so um, the aliens gave me some photographs. Uh, this is, uh, I think you recognize this, this is Saturn. I'm going to hold it up. And see if I can get a little closer here. Uh, I think when they were flying by Saturn on, on the way in the solar system, they, they took this picture. And, uh, and then this one I, I think you'll recognize uh, also. Uh, let me hold that up. That, that's the International Space Station. I don't know if it's supposed to be this way or this way. Oh, yeah, that looks a little better. Um, so there, that that's uh, that that uh, gives you some proof. And um, actually, I thought about this over the last ten years as I was uh, mulling over how to present this to planet Earth. Thank God for YouTube. Um, and I realized that at one time, only five hundred years ago. We, we counted like this. Uh, most of Europe, I should say, counted like this. Uh, not that long ago. And today we count like this. And does that mean that this is the end product? The, I mean, when the aliens told me that we have a primitive number system on Earth, I, I, was, I was insulted. I was offended. And the more I thought about it, though, over the last 10 years, I, I began to see that this doesn't mean that this is the best possible number system, that there could be something better. And so I began to accept the fact that, that maybe these aliens were serious about uh, sharing their number system uh, with Earth. And as I, some of you saw the first video, I, I explained uh, the pattern, uh, one, two, three, and and so on <clears throat> and i refer you to that video if you if you haven't seen it um, they, they actually also explained to me that that with 12 uh when you count by 12s it's easier to share so uh, you can share 12 things evenly with two people three people four people or six people whereas 10 things you can only share equally with two people and five people. So it has a lot to do with this, I think, is why they, they use this number system, this, this counting by twelves. And, and uh, they have a very old civilization. Uh, like ours, this civilization is about uh, 10,000 years old since the beginning of agriculture and writing maybe 5,000 years ago. Uh, but their, their civilization is like 50,000 years old. So they've had a lot of time to think about this. And I, I think we ought to uh, give them some credit for that. So, um, so anyway, they, they count by 12s. And part of the reason is that. And part of the reason, there's sort of a geometrical reason they explained to me. And it, it has to do, if you put like a, a coin, like a, a, any coin, a penny, and then you surround it with other pennies, um, you always get six, six pennies in, in the pattern. And notice that's similar to the pattern they use for their number system. And then if you fill in the next row with more pennies, you get, you're going to get 12 in the next row. So 6 in this row, 12, and then 18. So I, I think it, what they were trying to tell me is nature, the way nature puts things together is, is more in a pattern of using sixes and twelves rather than tens. And I'm not very good with video cameras and stuff like that, but I have some photographs I'm gonna to try to put here in this segment of the video if I can uh, to show this better. But if I can't, well, 
you know, then, then you'll just have to look at this. Um, so that's another reason. And, and then uh, also if you, if you take like ping pong balls and you glue them together, you, get, you put one in the center, you get exactly, uh, you can fit exactly 12 around that. And so, so that's another way nature is using 12 rather than um, 10. And there's some other shapes I'm going to put in here in the video if I can figure out how to do that. Um, oh yeah, when you use a base 12 system, you get less of these repeating decimals. Um, so like we, our, our one third is 0 0.3333, 3, and, and they don't, they don't have that problem. Uh, so they have less of these repeating decimals uh, with the 12. Um, and then, let's see, maybe I'll tell you a little bit more, because most people are interested in what the aliens look like, as I said last time, and uh, they, they're, they're short, but there's, I think there's two, um, two types of them. There's, there's the short, big-headed ones, and then there's ones that look more like us with the big legs. They're, they're the ones that work primarily in the gravitational, one G or gravitational, heavy gravity, and then the the big-headed aliens work more in the, uh, in the zero G. And, uh, and, and people always ask me about them. Uh, I, you know, I don't think they, they didn't reveal their whole uh, civilization to me. Uh, that's all I have to say um, right now. Um, if any of you have questions, uh, you can post them on the website and I'll try to answer them. And thank you very much. Years ago, we, we counted like...